The following trailer is rated H for honest. In an age where games come out unfinished and slowly become what they were supposed to be, while you pay money to playtest them, watch as we check back in and give the handful of games people actually play the honest treatment once again. And what better way to start than the biggest trend of 2017, Fortnite Season 5. Gape in awe at the meteoric rise of Fortnite. A game that went from a mildly interesting horde mode to the most popular game in a brand new genre that took online shooters by storm. Literally. That's carved its name into gaming history and transforming the brutality of the battle royale genre into a fun, cartoonish romp that's just cute enough not to scare your parents. If you let little Jimmy play Fortnite, he'll learn teamwork and cooperation and at least 10 different uses of the N-word. Discover the many iterations of Fortnite Battle Royale, a mode that went from a last-minute bare-bones edition to a whole continent of constantly changing environments and lore. From its humble Season 1 beginnings, where the most fun you get to have is killing your teammates and taking their stuff, Season 2 that officially introduced their Dota 2-esque battle pass and created a whole generation of kids desperate to mine their parents for V-Bucks, Season 3 which expanded the map, item, and weapons pools, and added stages, challenges, and limited time modes to give the game some extra life. Season 4 that introduced new mechanics with jetpacks and low-gravity crystals and uh, a shopping cart, none of which work as well as just shotgunning everyone in the face. And Season 5 that ripped the world apart once again, vastly improved the balance of the weapons, introduced the first actual vehicle, gave you the ability to blink around like Nightcrawler, introduced a playground mode for you to generate YouTube videos in, and tweaked the game to make it easier for newcomers, as Epic slowly turns Fortnite into the gaming experience that everyone actually wants, a popular dance move simulator. Ride the Fortnite fad today, as the game burrows itself into every facet of our culture and becomes so ubiquitous that it's getting banned from schools. Adults actually know what it is, and people get so obsessed that the World Health Organization decided to slap gaming disorder onto their official list of diseases, achieving a level of saturation unheard of since Minecraft, half because they released a pretty high-quality free mobile version, and half through the popularity of Ninja and the people that wish they were Ninja. As this former Counter-Strike pro, who acts like a Disney Channel character had his blood replaced with Red Bull, breaks records on Twitch by snagging Drake away from his busy schedule of ignoring his secret children. To play games in front of half a million people with weirdos like Kim.com. Drake, I have a slurp for you. Until more and more celebrities start to get in on the action, starts to get tie-in movie endorsements, and even your grandma is talking about her KD ratio. Maybe someday all their success will finally put Epic in a position to f***ing release the video game. Look, if you have 3.4 million players, maybe you're not exactly early access anymore. So strap on your best Viking helmet and prepare to sucks for those V-Bucks in the video game equivalent of a deadly virus that's just going to keep spreading whether you like it or not until the next gaming craze comes around and Cardi B plays Paladins while skydiving or something. Oh, Overwatch got DJ Khaled? Overwatch leads. Well, your days are numbered, Fortnite. Starring Tron, Zelda, Sportsball, Ginger Genocide, Skullomania, Watch Dogs, Game of Throws, That's a Raven, Fully Kitsune Out, and Consumption, Dance Dance Demolition. Attention, if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with Ligma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Please don't wait. Call now. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. The following trailer is rated H for hentai. Oh boy, I'm so hungry I could eat an Octorok. Books are dangerous. Play more video games. If I had the power of invisibility for a day, I'd use it to beat up a mime.